Hi, hello. Uh, it's me, Teddy. Uh, how is everybody doing tonight? Good, good, good. Good to see you. Um, I'm here to basically ask for your all, for all your assistance. Um, I know um, advocacy and volunteering and community awareness is about queer issues and queer topics has always been very dear to my heart and my ability to share my story about um, facing discrimination such as homophobia and racism in small town Sault Ste. Marie um, has really benefited a lot of people out there to raise awareness and to build foundations of an understanding about what multiculturalism, interconnectedness, and diversity means, or an example of it. Um, I know it's very hard sometimes when you're trying to figure out who you are as a person growing up, and especially if you're a youth, um, or, or, or at any age, when you realize that you're different, or that you realize you identify with a community that you may not have any kind of awareness on. Uh, for myself, I did not know what it meant to be gay. I did not know what it means to be native. Um, for both identifiers, for me, I'm still learning and growing as a person. And that's what I try to do and encourage other people to learn from each other and learn from themselves on their differences and their similarities with other people and how beautiful that is. And uh, I have the opportunity to share that story and that theory and that, uh, and that perspective to youth right across Canada, uh, May 15th to the 17th in Winnipeg, Manitoba, at Outshine 2015 uh, with EGAL Canada. And I'm very excited to be a part of it to share my uh, workshop on interconnectedness and multiculturalism. Um, however, I do need to um, pay for my own travel uh, to get there. Now, if you don't know who, I, if you haven't been keeping up with me, that, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, last October, I was working at a contract position, and then the contract ended. And like many contracts in southern or in northern Ontario and in many communities right across Canada, uh, contracts can sometimes uh, provide a lot of benefit for people. But then also when they're over, um, sometimes you might not have a job. For me, I was on the cusp of not having a job. However, I found two great jobs here in Sault Ste. Marie, uh, part-time jobs, uh, that allow me to uh, have the freedom to do my advocacy work and to do... Um, uh, cross-cultural diversity training with other people and uh, a lot of my writing and a lot of my reading which I really want to focus on for this year which has always been a goal of mine and um, however with those two part-time jobs I, I, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to save up a bit uh, I do have a friend's wedding coming up in December as well that's another story all together there'll be pictures coming soon to Instagram um, however um, I could really use your help um, I need to raise about $1,500. This includes travel uh, via Air Canada or Greyhound, um, and also cost of a hotel um, or any kind of or additional lodging, preferably at the Victoria Inn, uh, where uh, EGAL Canada has a promotional code that can be used for people who are traveling in and out of town, which would be uh, safe for me. Um, as somebody who identifies as uh, uh, as uh, as um, uh, as two spirited, and um, sometimes knowing that in a safe, in a small community that you're not always accepted by a lot of people, and the way I identify, I might not always find myself safe. So any kind of lodging, whether it's at the conference or not, would be beneficial for me. I, I it would be easier for me uh, just for my own safety. It's weird talking about it. I don't really talk about stuff that really frightens me or scares me or gives me anxiety, but it, it is a truth. I also don't like talking on phones. I've been telling actually more telling more people that I prefer text or email. Just talking on phones don't really work out for me. Anyways, that's another video altogether. Thank you. Hold it on there. Getting to the point. I need your help. I'm going to set up a, a GoFundMe.com uh, GoFundMe um, page 
and uh, it's an opportunity to assist if you can't if you're a long ways also on april 24th uh me and members of the Sioux indigenous writers collective will also be hosting a uh Indian taco fundraiser in which we'll be collecting raffle prizes, uh, selling tickets for about $15 a person, $10 for kids. Um, and that'll be, uh, and the ticket will include your chances to win a door prize and also an Indian taco. Yay, because Indian tacos are awesome, right? I thought so. And also for that night, there will be some spoken word poetry. Um, hip hop artists and um, and an open mic as well for uh, some celebrating some local talent as well. Um, so if you can, please, from the bottom of your heart, I know that for me traveling sometimes I get to go to a lot of places. Sometimes it's out of pocket. Um, other times it's for opportunity. This is a great opportunity for me to get. Uh, my name out there a little bit more to get my story out there a little bit more and also to assist others with that um, aspect of learning because education is very powerful and it should be used for good and for me I will feel good teaching others about my story and having them build an understanding of cross-cultural interconnectedness in Winnipeg at Ho Chi Minh, Ego, 2015. Thank you. Love you.